How are you guys today? We're Great. Good. Great. See, we got ah, <laughs> comfy. The only thing, see, and I have to drag out this interview because otherwise they're going to make me do exercises. <laughs> so, so let's talk about where you were born and everything. No. Let's talk about the Cranmore Family Fitness Center and what's going on up there. What do you want to know? Well, I, I want to know what you want to tell me. Well, we want to talk about, um, well, first of all, everyone knows we have the fun zone open through the winter on weekends. That's so right. So that's huge. If you have kids, if you're here visiting, you have kids um, and they're driving you crazy, they haven't used up all that energy on the slopes all day, bring them to the fitness center at night and we'll be sure to... And get you've them expanded tired. it this year. You've added a couple things to it also. Yeah, this year. there's a trampoline, um, the, uh, the the little nook for younger kids. It accommodates all ages, so your whole family can come. Right. Um, right. And then if they're not tired, put them in the pool. <laughs> we'll just keep them going. That's right. Forty laps. <laughs> so that, that's that's huge for families and, and for people visiting. You know, need to know that. Um, but the, the, right now we have um, some initiatives going. Weight loss boot camp. That's the new the new word in fitness. So we have um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, six in the morning. GI Jane um, boot camp with Jane Grubb, and I'm doing a Tuesday, Thursday, seven o'clock in the morning weight loss boot camp. Um, I think we're going to start one up at night because a lot of people have said. Ah, I can't come so or six o'clock it's early <laughs> but that's actually great get you up get you going get your get your bl blood flowing get you going for the day yeah so yeah you may think that you might go oh six o'clock is awfully early but once you're up and going no it's it's, it's great it's, it's great. great yeah it kind of set your whole day you really have the energy to make it through the rest of the day right so those boot camps are running um regular personal training a lot of it's january we were just talking about that it's january a lot of people have signed up for personal trainings like yeah this year i'm gonna do it um, so we are available. Terry and I are both trainers there. Um, available for group sessions. We have something called the Perfect Fit, which you can have a small group and it's a little bit cheaper to do it that way. Or you can do individual sessions if if uh, you don't want to work out in front of anybody else. Um, or they don't want to see, like me, you know, you don't want to see me working out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a scare. I've cleaned out more clubs than anybody else. You know, well, right. just... we do, we have some um, male trainers and, and oftentimes, um, uh, if I'm working out with uh, helping a guy work out, it's like, you know what? You're going to bench press 150? I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. So if we can accommodate all levels. Everybody. We can accommodate yeah. everybody. Yeah, we to talk every, about you know, levels of fitness. Yeah, we can accommodate any level of fitness, any age, any, and time of day. We're talking about 6 o'clock in the morning is great for some people. Some people can't make it. You know, teachers can't make it. People who have to be to work early can't make it. But we are very flexible. And, you know, if, if you want to come by yourself or you have a group of friends, a bunch of teachers want to get together after work and come to the gym, we can put together a group for you. Well, that's great. When I've been there different times during the day, um, there's always a variety of people there. Oh, and that, yeah. And that's what is nice. So you have that, that opportunity to do it around your schedule. Right, right. And we have such a, like you said, a diverse membership. It's, it's you know, one of those places that you can be comfortable coming to no matter who you are, no matter what your level of fitness is or your goals. Um, there's something for everybody at Cranmore. And I think, I think that's important. It's not just a bunch of... Uh you know, macho people going, oh. No, definitely uh, it is. not. It's a wide well, the range evenings of, are a little well, more. Well, <laughs> yeah, there's, 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 it's a totally there's bigger beef there. Well, when I'm there. <laughs> the morning crew, it's, a, it's very family oriented, it, uh, but the yeah. morning crew is a totally different crew than um, the six to six to nine crew right. at well, night. Well, I can, I can bench press 15 pounds easy. No problem. <laughs> then I can be your trainer. I can do it. I can I do can do it. it. <laughs> hey, well, you brought some stuff here so we can uh, try out some stuff. What are we going to, what are we going to try out this morning? Well, if you can came to a class at Cranmore, we wanted to show you these. Well, if you came to a class or set up for personal training, we also have a whole range of classes, everything from Pilates to um, yoga to water aerobics to Zumba. Oh, I almost and forgot about Zumba. And, and a strength training class, Wednesdays, 5.30. So um, all of those classes. But if you came, took a class, or worked with a trainer, or um, you know, just happened to be sitting on the balcony drinking coffee <laughs> while everybody else work, you might see people working with this equipment. And so the stability ball is great for all sorts of things. Um, I was just going to have Terry oh. do some crunches. Well, Terry okay. to be here now, so let's put Terry on the big all ball. All right. <clears throat> I'll sit and watch, drink my coffee. But okay. we'll have you do squats uh, I knew and there was gonna be, yeah. I knew there was going to be something, something in it for everybody. me. All right. 
so I guess I'll go this way. This is where we get Hans to come in. <laughs> the uh, yeah. doing your crunches on the ball adds that element of instability. So now your whole core is engaged, as opposed to doing your crunches on the floor or old school, which they didn't call crunches; they called sit-ups. And now they've determined that that's bad for your back. Right. So this really supports your back. Once we have people that are kind of adept at this, then we tell them to put their feet up on the wall. So it just takes a little more stability off. <clears throat> and again, your core is engaged. So I can feel it just with you talking about it. I can feel it. <laughs> Suck in it. those yeah. abs and show us 10 or 20 crunches. <laughs> <Ten or> 20. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Perfect form here. If you're doing crunches, remember you're, you've got a grapefruit or an orange tucked under your chin so you're not scrunched up like that because all too many people go home and say, oh, my neck really hurt from doing those. Why should my neck hurt? Because you're, you're pulling on it. You're going Don't like pull that. on it. You could do um, this. <clears throat> I could kick the ball. If you wanted a little, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> you or or why don't you flip right over and show us a push-up on the ball? Because a lot of people say, oh, I can't do push-ups. Oh, now you're, now you're <clears> pushing <throat> it, Jerry. Push-ups on the ball. With my feet up or my, or my hands up? You can do it either way. I don't care. With your feet up. With your feet up. All right. The other way, I think, is way, way hard. I don't know if I'm going to be on. You are. You're, Am I good? You, 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 uh, there we go. So, again, whatever your level of fitness, you could be resting on your thighs, which makes it easier, or you could go all the way out to your ankles, which makes it harder. Right. How about doing a pike? Can you do a pike and show us? <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I was teasing. That was How about a double good. backflip off the, bat, you know, off the ball? <laughs> Come on. Okay. We want to some. So, that, but that ball, we have a total class is just using the ball um, and some bands that will have people on the ball and then we give them a band and you can do your biceps and your triceps, you can do chest presses, you can do everything with just those pieces of equipment. So you can have a ball. <laughs> or All a kinds ball of stuff you can do. <clears throat> um, we all went, most of the trainers in the club went to a conference um, in Boston in November, and everybody took different classes. So we all came back full of these new ideas. Awesome. So. Oh, yeah, you can, and these, the tubes are great. Even if you, if you want to take your workout that you learned at the gym home, you can get yourself some tubes. Work every muscle. Oh, no, we don't want you to work out at home. We want you to No, come well, to in between your visits to the gym. Well, between. that's true. That's true. There to keep go. up. <laughs> to keep up, yeah. There you go. So another thing um, that we, especially it, it, right now in ski season, the BOSU is awesome for, Rob, you want to? The BOSU. For Should um, I spot him so he doesn't fall yeah. on his head? Oh, Doing no. your squats, getting those <laughs> Quads set up for uh, <laughs> for skiing. Now where is it? Yeah, it's funny. It's right here. Yeah. yeah do you want to move, move this it? Over, move it over a little here so we can. I'm so I can be embarrassed on way. camera. What am I doing? <laughs> You're just gonna stand on I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna stand on. First, it. stand yep. on and get your balance. I'm gonna stand on. <laughs> I have to move the camera now. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I gotta clean. Right. I have to change the lights. Okay. Now do a squat. Squat meaning like this. Keep your knees. Yeah. Yep. Your knees need to be back beyond your toes, so, which means you're like you pushing wanna, down on your heels. Which means I'm Pretend going to you're, fall. You're sitting, you don't want to sit on the dirty toilet. You know, <laughs> you got to kind of... What kind of classes do you teach there? <laughs> Real life training. And, <laughs> okay, you look really comfortable with that. Now try that with one foot. With one foot. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but with practice, it gets easier. So, uh, but that's working your whole lower body, and if you're a skier, cross country, or downhill, like well, yeah, I can see that for for skiing. Yeah, that, that is one of the best exercises, and we do entire classes centered around that. So you can have a ball. That's actually that's actually a lot of fun. I like the type of workouts that I like doing are these type of things with the ball or with this. Because uh, they're, they're more interactive. They're just, as opposed to just sitting there doing weights. I could never be a weight person. That's me. And I think that's one of the opportunities that you guys provide. You know, like you say, you have a ball class. I think that's terrific. Yeah, and a lot of it's very functional. You know, it's, it's stuff you take into everyday life. You know, everybody has to squat. Everybody has to pick <laughs> things up. Everybody, you know, everybody has to put things here and put things there. So, yeah, if you, if you don't want to just work out in the weight room and be in a unidimensional workout, you know, this kind of real life stuff is great. Omnidimensional. Yes. I'll go. To, I'll sign up for the omnidimensional Omni class. <laughs> that's, right. that's a new term. Maybe we should do that. Omnidimensional. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things I think that Zumba's caught on so 
um, so highly around here because people say, that's like going to a wedding with sneakers on. I don't feel like I worked out, but by the time you leave, 